Okay, so first just introduce yourself, um, you know, your name, then of course your YouTube channel, and then just tell us a little bit about it. Okay, uh, my name is Janine, and my channel on YouTube is Pinkfish. Um I had three weight loss surgeries. The first one was in 2007, I had a lap band. Um, after that, I tried to revise to a duodenal switch, a biliopancreatic surgery with a duodenal switch, but I had so many complications with the surgery, they could only do half of the surgery, which is just a vertical sleeve gastrectomy. So they couldn't revise my intestinal tract, which is the main focus of a duodenal switch. So a year later, in 2011, I had the rest of my duodenal switch finished. Okay. So I've had three surgeries. Yeah. So 2007, lap band. 2010, vertical sleeve gastrectomy. 2011, duodenal switch. Um, my total weight loss is 248 pounds. That, that amazes me. Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh, Nato was telling me that, you know, she, she's lost like well over 200 pounds. Wow. Yeah. Like, it, I guess since I started watching you, you then almost like this, maybe you lost like 30 pounds or something like that. Yeah. But um, so it was just hard to believe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was huge. I was, I was super, super morbidly obese. Um, you know, considering I'm only 5'2 to 5'3, um, just, you know, depending upon the scale you're sitting next to, um, you know, my body mass index was, I think it was 72.3 at the time for a body mass index, and, um, you know, that's, that's insanity now, so. Okay, so, I have a couple questions that I'm trying not to ask, because Shoot. I want to do it for a regular interview, because okay. you're going to be, like, really long. So I stick to the normal stuff. Um, with with having the three surgeries and all that you've been through with that, um, not even thinking about the other surgeries and other things that you had to deal with. Mm -hmm. um, what's something that you've learned about yourself that you think maybe you didn't know before, or something that you realized going through all of this? So much. Um, I mean, I literally did a 180. I turned into a different person. I really did. I turned from introverted to extroverted. Um, I am a absolute social butterfly now. I will have a conversation with anybody, um, total stranger on the street, I will have a conversation with. And I'll probably enjoy myself while doing it. Um, I used to be uncomfortable leaving the house. Um, you know, it. Being super, super morbidly obese literally ruined my life. I dreaded going to stores because I felt like people were going to, every time somebody looked my direction, I assumed that they looked my direction because they were looking at me to say, look at that fat girl, you know, look at that ugly girl, and not anything in a positive note. Um, not anymore. You know, now I, I think something is more positive. I actually have self confidence now, not to a sense of narcissism, but you know, it's it's something that I'm I'm going to feel like I have a reason to go to a store and not feel like people are staring at me because I'm hideous. Ugly, fat, gross, you know, something I could scare a child with. It, I did a 180, I really did, and it's, it's incredible, yeah. So what, what's something that you think you still have in front of you as a future goal? It doesn't have to be like weight, but just something you love to do. I still have to work on my confidence issues. Um, because I was super, super morbidly obese my entire life, um, literally my entire life, uh, I am programmed, my brain has been programmed for 31 years of my life to feel I am inadequate and I am not good enough. It's something I'm working on a lot. Um, I'm working on it with a therapist. Um, you know, it's just, it's something I'm struggling with. I've always struggled with it. I used to struggle with it and truly believe it. Now I know I'm wrong to believe it. Um, but it's still, it's still something that 
I'm struggling with. You know, I automatically go there and then I have to slap my wrist and say, you mm, mean, no, that's wrong. You know, but it's still, those thoughts are lingering in my head and I don't, I don't want to ever think those thoughts because I shouldn't. You know, I'm not worth that. I'm worth more. And I know that. Everybody is. Nobody should assume the worst about themselves, but I just do because I always do. So. So what um, advice would you give to someone who is beginning their weight loss journey? Either they're considering having weight loss surgery, or maybe they're not, they're just beginning a journey in general. Um, what advice would you give them? Definitely make smaller goals um, and reward yourself with a smaller goal. Um, if you have to make a goal that's going to be making it through a week of lower carbs or you know whatever your goal is going to be that week if you're on the lower carb diet just to you know venture into that sort of realm of dieting or if you're going through a weight loss surgery and you have to eat a particular way you know focus on a smaller goal and if you can make it through that week doing it terrific pat yourself on the back for it just keep your goals small because if you look at it huge you're going to look backwards and see that you haven't done enough you know you can never move on to the next chapter of your life if you continue to read the last so you're not going to be able to find yourself adequate if you continue to look backwards and see that you haven't completed enough you always got to look forward so make small goals so that you can continue to look forward and on to the next okay so the last question I I can't ask you the question that, that I asked Dana about the wrestling name. Yep. Because you already have this really great name on YouTube. Thank you. Can you just explain where you came up with that name? Pink is my favorite color. Uh, okay. Fish, I have a thing with water, uh, anything nautical. I love nautical stuff. And my sister calls me Lily. I don't know why. She just does. She calls me Lily. It's just a pet name. She calls me Lily. She calls me Lil because I'm so little um, compared to her. Yeah, so she calls me Lil or Lil. So that's where I came up with Pink Fish Lily. I like that. I always wonder, like, she came up with this name? Yeah, I like it. that's it's it. It's so cute. I just squished it together, so that's all. <laughs> okay. It's kind of simple. Well, I'm mean, hopefully this will be a precursor. It's like a yes. teaser for everyone, and you'll actually come, be able to come to the show and do a live interview. Yeah. Um, you know, it's an hour long, so they'll be able to talk about it. I have a question. Yeah. Were you always queen of the F bomb? Yes. <laughs> I only started giving out the award last year. Uh -huh. So I got the first award. Yes. <laughs> and I am reigning champion. Gotcha. Yes. So I just, I have to say thank you to you for being able to go through, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes and not using it. It was rough. And, <laughs> but you're so articulate and you're so expressive. Yeah, thank you. Even without it. Yes. Yes. So, you know, I, I know I know using profanities is, is a wrong thing, you know. I'm vulgar. I'm not stupid. I'm aware. But you know, we can do. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for coming. Yeah, thank it's you. Absolutely great. my pleasure. And you know, you you always like you just have this amazing character. Thank you. you know, so thank you, thank you. Thank you. Right. And we'll be talking to you again soon. Yay! <laughs> thank you.